tell uh, our folks where we're going. All right. Um, we are on 550, headed towards I-25 to go north to the Pecos Historical something or other. National Historical <laughs> Park. <laughs> National yep. Historical Park. And that's where Toby was before, and we're going to go again. This time I get to go, because I finished my homework. <laughs> yeah, you did. Great work on your project. <laughs> yes. That's done and all set to go. And I might even be live streaming on Thanksgiving to you know, share that with people. So we'll see. Anyway, we're headed up to Santa Fe and then toward Pecos. East, towards Pecos, as I finally corrected myself. East, not... Yeah, east, because it's Gloria to pass, and east, we've got to go east. East, west. All right, then what? So I did bring the drone. I'm going to get that drone shot that I promised the last time. And um, then once we get to the uh, Pecos National Historical Park, we're going into the vis visitor center. And because the gallery inside the museum, style gallery inside the visitor center, uh, is going to be deconstructed, I guess is the best way to describe it. They're taking it apart and they're removing all the objects, putting them in storage, uh, starting tomorrow, Monday. And uh, because of that, I wanted to go document the way it looks now. Uh, we do have permission, although don't, I don't feel like it's something that requires permission, but we did get permission to do it anyway. Uh, so this week's show is going to be about that. It's going to be about us documenting this 40-year-old facility that is going to be, uh, as I said, deconstructed and um, rebuilt with all new material. Uh, and it will be open, I think she said in March of 2023 is when they reopen. So that's what we're doing today. Alrighty then. So we're on our way to Santa Fe and beyond. Good, how are you? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. We had a great con conversation with uh, Becky, and we yeah. did manage to put the video up on our YouTube channel. Did I give you my business card? Yes. If you get a chance, take a look at it. It was uh, We thought it was pretty good. We came back, and, and I don't know if you've talked to her at all, but uh, she told me that this was the last day that this was facility was going to be open. Oh my right, yeah. right. And I told her that I wanted to come back and document it. Is that okay? I think it is. I can use flash. Okay. All right. Uh, I, because I've got a good enough lens on there that I can shoot it without the flash if I have to. Okay, well, I figure it's the last day it's going to be up anyway, so. Oh, it will. So where will this stuff go 
Oh, well, uh, the stuff that so some of it's going to be reused, some of it's not. Where will it go in the meantime? All of it will be going into our curation facility. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, we had a wonderful conversation, and we used that voiceover as part of the video, so it came out just perfectly. For the next two hours, Shelley and I documented the contents of the museum. Shelley used the DJI Pocket 2 video camera, and I used my Panasonic Lumix G9 still camera. She recorded 45 clips totaling over 25 minutes worth of material. I shot over 350 images. Once they are cataloged, we'll upload them and make them available to everyone.
Well, we visited the Pecos uh, National Historical something or other. What was it? Pecos National Historical Park. Park. It, we went to the visitor center and we took tons of pictures of all the art and pottery and all Imagery. the uh, artifacts that they have and the dioramas and text and the gift shop itself and uh, everything. So we have that and now we're going to go over to the park part and have some dinner. So we actually came back to the uh, archaeological site so that we could have dinner uh, because it's nice and sunny except that the picnic tables are over there and they're in the shade. So I'm going to cook over there but I think we're going to eat over here in the, in the sunlight. It's a beautiful day though, i got to say that folks. It smells good. Alright, so let me, let me tell you what I'm doing here. So this is the rice, it's boiling. Is there it's, chicken in there already? No, no, I'm going to cook the chicken separately. Uh, so I'm going to cook that separately. I do have some vegetables in there. Oh, okay. And then uh, chicken is in there right now. I'm going to flavor it with the adobo over there. Mm -hmm. cool. And then um, cook it on the grill here or the stove. Mm -hmm. um, once I get the signal that this has gone from cooked to warm. Yeah. And I've got some seasoning for that as well. All right. So it should be just, just those. Just chicken and rice and vegetables, and that's. And it. the chickens in there. And that is it. Yeah. That's the salad. I was going to do a salad, and I thought, well, I've got the vegetables and the rice. Yeah. Hand me the chicken. So I did uh, the thin ones because we never finished the full-size breast anymore. Yeah. And we got a chocolate bar for dessert. Yum. Yeah. Which one? What kind? It's a Mars bar. Chocolate caramel. Okay, is it like ready yet? Is it ready yet? The rice is done. I'm just going to add some flavor here. A little bit of flavor. Flavor. Butter. Well, a little it's like bit of butter. A little bit of butter, but it's got some teriyaki and some. So I can start the chicken now. Would you do me a favor? What? And. Go in the box on this side, there's some of those uh, wipes, can't, handy wipes. Front or back? In the box. Oh, in the box in the back? Inside the box, yeah. It's on top of here, actually. These? The big white one, yeah. What, you didn't bring gloves? I didn't bring gloves. There you go. It's sticky. Get back in there. All right. So they all try this. I just, I've never, I've literally never had this seasoning. Adobo. Ad better smell it. Adobo. Better smell it. Oh, it's all over it now. Whether you like it or not. And they always use a bunch of it. So I don't know whether I'm making a mistake here or not. What's in it? 
Uh, don't know. Let's find out. Now that you've poured it all over our food. Let's see. Salt. Number one ingredient. Well, that'll work. Garlic. That's good. Tricalcium phosphate. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Black pepper, oregano, and turmeric. And that's it. Turmeric? Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a serious... Turmeric's good for you. Is it? Oh, yeah. So is oregano. Salt. A little salt's okay. Garlic and black pepper are also good for you. Turmeric and black pepper together. That is a uh, winner all over the place. So. Where's the spoon? What do I do with the spoon? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Do me a favor and stir that butter into the rice over there. Please. Mmm. Mmm. You think so? The spray is melting. Okay. There we go. That's what I want to hear. Now you got to adobo the top. You're going to adobo the other side? Yep. <laughs> That's all right. It's good for you. Turmeric and what? Black pepper. Garlic, hmm. oregano, and salt. All right, um, we're going to leave this here to cook for just a little bit. And meanwhile, I'm going to turn this off. So we're losing sunlight uh, pretty quick. We've actually had to move <laughs> our dining table on the other side of the parking lot. But I think our chicken is ready. Smells good. Turn this off. And I'm going to go ahead and slice it since all we have is plastic utensils. Actually, let me cut one in the middle just to make sure it's a... Uh... Yeah. All right, why don't you go ahead and split the rice between the two plates for me. Serving rice over there. I'm going to serve it on top of the rice, so just center it up. Oh, okay. I feel like this needs a little bit more cooking. Needs more what? Cooking. Stick it back in the pan. Don't take too long though, because the rice is going to get cold now. We'll just have to cut this part out. That's what people like though. They like to see us mess up. Yeah. Then they know it's real. Well. I don't like undercooking stuff. I mean, there's just a couple of spots. In Where the fold was. There was a little fold in the meat. Mm -hmm. So we'll just turn it back on with the fire. Make a little bit more fire for it. Now block the wind. Uh, it doesn't seem to be bothering it now. Seems fine. 
I mean, it does have the two windscreens on it, so. Popular place here. Mm -hmm. It's a popular place here. People come in uh, all you know day what? and all night. I th like I said, I think people use it for, uh, not recreation, but I saw a lot of people just. They're all over the thing. Walking. You know, like yeah, but they're all over it. I mean, it's not like they're out walking. Oh, that's true. It. Popular place. Now you're gonna have to throw the rice in the pot. Pan okay, no, no, no. We'll go. <laughs> Hand me one. Go ahead, I'll meet you at the table. Okay, so this isn't a stabilized shot, but what I'm going to do is I'll put you over there so you can see where we're going. And we probably got 15 minutes worth of sun left. Well, I mean, like sunlight. Sun doesn't, sunset isn't until 5.30, and it's only... <gasps> what happened? I spilled my water. Oh, I thought you had dropped your dish. No. Well, it should just fall through the cracks. Pretty much. Oh, don't worry about it. So this is our little aluminum folding table. Those are our dishes. And so we're not going to force you guys to watch us eat, but I'd like Shelly to try it out, make sure she's happy with it. I don't have a fork, so. Oh. Sorry. A little pecan on the top. Oh, that's a good idea. Pecans. Chicken yet? Let me try chicken. All right. I don't think we have to season both sides. Seems a little over seasoned. No? No, that's good. All right, guys. Arroz con pollo, New Mexico day trip style. So we're going to finish dinner, clean up our messes, and then probably, uh, not probably, we're going to head home. All right? Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us today. So we had a great day at the Pe Pecos National Historical Park. And I walked around and I saw the sites at the park, the Kiva and the, uh, the church the old church and the walls that were left and all of that. So it was very cool to see all that. And um, it's a nice facility. They had bathrooms and um, picnic tables. and Great visitor of, center. Visitor center was awesome. But this is a little ways away from the visitor center. You would drive between the two. And I did a few selfies and Instagram, you know, <laughs> uh, as much as I know how to do. Anyway that's it for today we had a great time if you're in the area of Pecos check it all out it's going to be all new exhibits in the spring of 2023 so if you've been there before even uh, if you haven't you know it'll be new so go back again is what I'm saying
What else? Yeah, yeah you can go back to the visitor center, but as of, of tomorrow, the museum gallery is going to be closed. That's right. And they're going to start to reconstruct it. So, so wait till spring to come right. back. And we um, will. Actually, I guess we'll have to come back then to see what they've done. And of course, we're talking about doing more things south rather than north because it's starting to get uh, cold. <laughs> yeah. Um, especially in the shade, even on a sunny day. So uh, we'll be having more day trips coming up further south in New Mexico. And uh, that's all I got for today. Or some indoor stuff. We can always or do indoor some indoor stuff. stuff. Yeah. 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 Do me a favor, turn the camera around, see what kind of view we get. Oh. Do that. Do the, you've got to turn it off. Oh, oh that's nice. Nice little dish. So we're in the uh, town of Pecos right now. Ah. Uh -huh. As you can see the sun has set over the mountain on that side. We were trying to beat the um, the shade as it was going through the trees, but we didn't consider that sun is behind the mountains. We had to keep moving our table again yeah. and again and again yeah. because the shade kept getting us. So it was a good day. Um, I think we had a good day. We got to talk to the rangers. Some other people came. You know, it was, it was a very busy day. There was a lot of people there today. Yeah. Lots of people there. Uh, every time somebody would leave, somebody else would show up. Yeah. And it's a good place to hang out. Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful area. Where'd that moon go? The moon was up. Behind us now. Oh. All right. That's all I got. All right. We'll see you again next.